In the last lesson, we took a look at how to display the data that we had from a MySQL database in the table itself onto the web page. And it didn't look all that great as far as it being organized. It's just kind of each record is put on a different line. So on this lesson, I want to focus in on how to put it onto a table so that if you just want to work with the data itself and ha have all the data displayed onto a web page, you can at least display it and have it organized in kind of a presentable way. So what I'll do on this particular page is copy everything, control A, control C, and we're going to go ahead now and create a new web page. Just go file new, sorry, and paste it in there. And let's go ahead and call this one my data 2. So I'll just choose save and we'll call this one my data 2.php. All right, so we're going to make some slight modifications to this one here. What we'll do is before the loop starts, we're going to echo out a tag that tells it to start a table. So we're going to go ahead and type in echo. And then in the echo statement itself, let's go ahead and create a table tag. Table. And then we're going to add one attribute to the table tag. I'll just put the border as equal to 1. All right, and then I'll put the greater than symbol to close the opening part of the table tag. Within the table itself, we have table headings and then the table data tags. They all fall within rows. And so what I need to do now is actually put in a table row. So I'll just go ahead and hit enter and put in a table row, an opening tag for the table row. And then I'm gonna go ahead now, I'll just hit enter again to make it so that they're all in each line. We'll put in a TD tag, or sorry, a TH tag for the table header. And that'll, what will happen is between these two tags that we're going to put on this line, I need to put in the field name that I want to represent or where my data is going to be represented, and it's going to be topic. So I'll just type in topic, and that doesn't have to worry about casing. I can have it all upper casing, lower casing, whatever I want for this one here, because this is just HTML text that we're putting in on the table. So I'll close the TD tag, or TH tag, and then we're going to go ahead and now do the next heading which is going to be th and that'll be name then I'll close the th tag and then the next one is going to be attendance so I'll go ahead and do a th tag type in attendance and then I'll close the th tag so the th is for the table heading it just makes it so that it's bold and it looks a little bit more like a heading for the first record or first row that shows within the table so there we go, we're going to also close the table row. So I'm going to go ahead and put a closing table row. Now I'm not going to close the table tag, and the reason why I'm not closing the table tag is because we're going to actually close it after the loop runs. So I've got the table tag opened up, I've got a table row, I've got three different table headings, those are all the field names that are my, my table, and then I close that row. What I'll need to do now is put the double quote after that to end it, and then a semicolon and that'll go ahead and echo out the table. That'll start the table. Now that we've got our loop going on, the loop itself is going to go ahead and instead of it displaying a record in a line, we're going to go ahead and display each record into a new row within a table. So we're going to have to modify a little bit here. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the concatenation and then go ahead and hit enter there. Do the same thing here on this one because I want them each to be on a separate row. It makes it a little easier to see when you're working with it. And let's go ahead and type in an echo statement in front of each one of these. And it just makes it a little bit more uniform. There we go. So we're going to echo out all three of those records. But now what we're going to do is modify some of the code so that it appears within a table. So I'm going to go ahead and echo out first a row. So let's go ahead and echo out a tr tag. and that with a semicolon. All right, so that's gonna echo out the record. Now each one of these records or fields that we're pulling in here for the record are gonna to have to be within what's called the table data. It's gonna be very similar to TH, but it's gonna be a TD so that it's not bolded and it doesn't treat it as a heading. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and echo in a TD tag here, TD, and then append to it our record or concatenate, and then we're going to also concatenate and then a closing TD tag. And 
and then end that with a semicolon. So this is the basically the structure we're going to have for each one of these three field names that I have within my database. We'll put in a TD, we'll append to it the actual record itself, the record variable, the field name, and then we're going to go ahead and append to it a TD to end it. So we'll do the exact same thing, same, same thing here. I'll go ahead and do a TD. And then at the end of this one, we're going to go ahead and append or concatenate into this the closing TD tag. And then we'll end it with a semicolon. There we go. Everything looks right. Now let's do the last one here. And I'll go ahead and do a TD. And it looks like, oops, I did make an error on the last one here. I put the double quote too early. There we go. TD. We're going to go ahead and space and put in the period for concatenation. And then we'll go ahead and add that closing tag. And we've got the semicolon already there. Okay, so each one of these are going to be placed into the table data or table cell. And then at the end of this, what we want to do is echo out the end of the table row. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and echo out the end of the table row. So I'll just go ahead and put a closing TR tag and a semicolon. I don't need, oops, I did it again. There we go. I don't need this break tag in there any longer because when we start a new record, or new row within a table, it's automatically going to put it on the next line. So I don't need that one there. So now after the while loop has ended, I'm going to come to the end of this and space down a couple. Once the while loop has completely ended, now we can finally echo in the closing tag of our table. So I'll go ahead and type in echo, and then we're going to go ahead and put in the closing tag of our table. There we go. So that was a lot of work just to format it into a, a table itself. I'll go ahead and hit save. Let's go to our web page. And I'm going to refresh it. Actually, I need to go back, refresh. There we go. We need mydata2.php. And there we go. My data has now been presented into a table. The topic, name, and attendance field names all appear before the loop. And then when the loop runs, it's going to go ahead and insert in each one of my records until the records are done. And then we close the table tag at the end here with an echo of the closing table tag. So this concludes the video on formatting it to, so that it appears into a table and it's a little more organized with my data. In the next video, we're going to look at putting it into a text box that we can actually put the records in and then change for later on.